So I'm currently in chapter six uh, in my Spanish class, my Spanish 102 class, and we've introduced the preterite in Spanish, which is uh, the past tense. One of the past tenses in Spanish. And I have already created yesterday, uh, yesterday I'd already created this document uh, that I actually use uh, to create web practice. I shuffle this and then I run a bash script on it and it creates web practice. And so uh, the way this document is, it's first person with all the chapters, verbs, second person, and so forth. And I was teaching yesterday and talking with the students and realized, well, the book doesn't list out all conjugations of the verb and, you know, of each verb. And uh, the verbs are kind of in different places. It's not the most organized textbook. So I asked my students, well, why don't I uh, create a list like this of all the verbs that can serve as a reference, uh, you know, a table with every verb for the chapter. And so this is uh, something that, they can, that would be more useful. It's got the infinitive, first, second, and third person, and this is singular, and this is plural here, first, second, and third person. So this could serve as a reference uh, for them to use with the conjugations. And so, you know, I, it would be very boring and, and tedious to take this and manually take this text document, verbos capitulo seis, and manually put it into this format. And so I immediately knew, well, I'm going to do a little bash one-liner to fix the issue to convert this into this and save a lot of time and potentially save errors. And so uh, I knew that I needed to take this and create a list of infinitives first. So here is verbos capitulo seis infinitivos. And so this just took a moment. I deleted from this all the way down in the document. And and then I just did a vim macro to take out after the infinitive of the verb on each line. And so I created this infinitives list. And so let's get to the one liner of what I did. And the way I, all, whenever I know I'm built, gonna build out a big command, I start simple and then I build up, build up complexity. Because if I don't start simple, if I start here, then I could have a little error somewhere in there and, and it could be harder to figure out where the issue is. So why don't we just walk through uh, this loop here. And so it's called while read. And what we do is, is we feed this infinitives list into the loop. And here I'm just echoing, echoing out each line. L stands for line. In fact, if you ever see while read, online well people post it as a solution they'll, they'll almost always say while read dash r and then line we're setting our variable here for each line they'll write out line but i'm just shortening it shortening it and using l and this dash r is just a safety measure it's not even necessary in my case here so why don't we just walk through each command as we build in complexity so here all we're going to do is display the contents of this line. We're going to echo each line. And I need to go to the right directory. There we go. There it is. That's each line. And so we can uh, show how this works a little better. We can do sleep point five. And then it'll show it's going through each line of our file. We don't need to wait for that. All right, so that gets the idea there. Next, what I want to do is I want to grep each line that is each infinitive that I'm looking for in the verbs list. So I'm grepping each one of these lines in this list. So this is going to pull ser for right here. Ser, where is ser? Ser from this section, you know, we go to abrazar, abrazar from here, abrazar, so it'll pull each one. All right, so let's do that. All 
All right, so that's great. That put them together in groups of six. So I've got first, second, third person, singular, first, second, third person, plural. So we're getting there, but I don't like this. This repeats the infinitive six times unnecessarily. We can't have that. And so here I decided, well, I need to, I need to create, um, I need to create a, an empty line between each set of six. So I did that there. We'll just run that real quick. That put the gap that we want for our reference file. Next, what do we do? Let's look at what we did next. So we're right here. Now, I realize that I need to cut. I'm going to want to cut from here forward. Or, or you know, I don't know if it's I'm cutting out this part or this part, but basically I want to only have the second part after the infinitive. All right, so I've run the, I'm going to, let's go down here. Oh, I'm right here. So I'm going to run cut and I'm going to set the delimiter to a space. The default delimiter is the tab. And I'm going to go from the second field uh, moving forward. Okay. Second field moving forward. And then I'm going to ep I could echo out a blank line. So let's do that. There we go. Now I've got the list of the conjugations. It's, I don't have Sakar listed six times there, but I've got the conjugations list. And well, what I need now is I need to list the infinitive up here. So that's pretty straightforward. Let's go to the next line here. And so I need to echo out the line, which is the infinitive. Echo the line, which is the infinitive. And then following that, I'm going to grep in this file right here, each conjugation. But I'm going to cut the listing of the infinitive before because I don't, I don't need that redundant data. And then uh, echo out a blank line between each one. So you would think that, oh, we're in good shape. This is not going to have any problems. Look at this beautiful list. But as soon as I scroll up, we're going to find a problem. Look at all this mess. Something broke. So let's go up, for example, let's look at the verb dar. Oh, it put merendar there. Where our problem is this. Let's look at merendar and dar. It combined merendar and dar together. So grep, let's see. Let, let's find merendar. There's merendar and then there's dar. So we didn't specify that it needs to start with whatever, you know, we're searching for. The line needs to start with it. So we got dar. Well, grep also picked up merendar, the dar part. So that's why it put all of those together and created a mess. So the way to fix that is you use the caret character here. And that says, the line we need to grep where it begins with the in, this infinitive. The line begins with that. So it'll only get instances where the line begins with dar, wherever dar is on here. Where is dar? Right there. The line begins with it. And so that will exclude this right here where merendar is at the end of the word. So let's give that a try. Now this is this second to last one is actually is actually the one that I used. And so I piped all of this data that it outputs and I piped it into this program called X select. I don't know how it's going to be. It's just X and then S E L. And this copy, this puts it into the clipboard so I can paste it. So I just copied that. And then let's run it. And we're not going to have any output, but let's op pop open Vim. And now I'm going to paste it by hitting P. And there it is. There's our list. And you'll notice there are no issues. You've got your sets of six. 
We'll go to the bottom and I'll take out the blank line and then I can go ahead and save it, you know, whatever, whatever file I want to save it as. So that's one way of doing it and that's the way I actually did it. But the other way you can do it is this, is why not go ahead and write it out to, this is actually more complicated, so this is actually simpler, but this is just another option. You can write it out to this text file called full verb table. And uh, what I've done here is I've put parentheses around my group of commands. And that way I'm not just, that way I'm, I, all of this data is gonna go into this file as opposed to just echo. Otherwise it would be a blank file with just echo. So a group, this is grouping. It's grouping all these commands together to go to this text file. Now here, I didn't bother doing the dash R, but you need a dash U3. So what is this? You've got, um, it's reading in and then it's going out. So uh, standard input is zero, standard out is one, and, st and standard error is two. So in order for this while loop to work and read in and go out, I had to put this on three. Uh, I had to add this three here in order for it to work correctly. So we can run that. And that did not give any output. It's because it put everything in this file called full verb table. And same thing, I just open up the file and you've got the list. So it's really nice. It's a really nice feeling to be able to click quickly build a command like this and it saves yourself a tedious task of having to convert this into this manually and uh, whenever there's a tedious task it's good to have the computer be able to do it.